Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is D Free, and for today's video, we're trying something a little bit different. So, we're going to be reacting live to Legends OP's YouTube short clip here, uh, basically depicting what is a one shot into an LF from the Vegeta onto Gohan, who is the best character in the game, also has type advantage on Vegeta, and kind of break down individually all the things you guys may have missed while watching this clip, just passively or whatever the case is. Kind of just dissect the video and kind of explain what happened and why things went the way that they did because you know i think vegeta is a really interesting character in the way that he's built right uh, uh i was gonna say dino and i but uh goresh and i did a video where we talked about gogeta and vegeto mainly from the aspect of god key yellow characters there are a couple others you could consider but mainly from those two's perspectives and we broke down all the pros and cons and one of the things we really highlighted on vegeta was the fact that he has type neutrality type neutrality is the reason why he was able to eliminate gohan we'll talk about that a little bit more so we're going to start off by playing the video all the way through then we're going to rewind and dissect like i said and we'll also kind of show you the things in vegeta's kit that are proccing at each individual time to explain as to what's happening here from a more in-depth analysis perspective so if you guys enjoy content like this this is something new something i'm trying uh i can definitely extend it to other platforms there are clips like this all over youtube or twitch other platforms as well uh if you guys want to see more content like this be sure to uh let me know in the comments down below or or post links or send me some links on twitter whatever the case is and hit that thumbs up today's video like goal is going to be 2000 the like goal comments and, and uh interactions with this video are going to tell me are really how how many of these i should do right uh and for the record please support legends op and uh in any of these videos i do going forward please support the original content creator his video will be linked down below so please go there subscribe hit the thumbs up all that stuff on the original video again link is down below in the description so let's go ahead and jump in and just kind of play it from beginning to end and explain what's happening here no pauses for the first time. All right, so Vegeta was able to one-shot Gohan into the LF, right? That's, in, on, on its surface, for the record, that was pretty impressive. So, for the record as well, um, this is a one-minute clip, or shorter than one minute, so it can be qualified as a YouTube short. We don't know what happened beforehand. We don't know. Trunks is starting from a red threshold already, so you can assume he was probably out there for a amount of time. Uh, I'm sure there might be some accompanying clips that might have got published, or whatever the case is. And I said all that to say that, you know, Legends OP uh, sometimes does videos just to kind of test things out. Like, he might have just testing, might have been just testing if Vegeta could actually pull this off. And this might not even have been a real match. I don't know. Uh, that's just kind of how things could have been. Uh, but for the record, still, again, impressive, right? And just to kind of explain here, Vegeta gets a one-shot on, again, the best character in the game, depending on who you ask. But majority of people will say Gohan is the best character in the game. Even a year after getting a Zenkai really speaks to the climate of the game and, and the power creep in this game. Anyways, so overall... Vegeta is a character who is going to be getting a lot of passive buffs. And let me go to his kit and kind of explain to you guys the most important things to look for when it comes to the buffs and more or less the neutrality that he picks up later on in the match. So this thing right here is really interesting. This is the best kit, best part of his kit overall. Applies the following effects itself if own key is 35 or lower after using an arts. If he's below the threshold of 35 key, he gains an automatic 20 key, effectively giving him near limitless key overall. I mean, he's going to run out of cards before he runs out of key. Uh, and then on top of that, though, he gets 25% bonus damage as well for 15 counts. So in 15 counts, if you popped numerous cards below the threshold, the thing is that you're going to get a lot of buffs. And if we pop back to this video, he had one, two, three, four buffs before the one that's proccing right here inflicted damage and restore key are proccing on the use of this blast card on the screen that is going to KO Trunks. So he's going to start off with basically five buffs as well. <laughs> so that's what you mainly want to kind of focus on to begin with. Vegeta is an interesting character because he has 
the highest damage peak, uh, I believe, on the ultimate in the game. Because not only does he get this, you know, ability going off, he also has the 90% here. We'll talk about it a little bit more, but he has a buff built into the main ability that procs whenever he draws that and uh, activates that and draws the ultimate as well. He has another buff that activates down here. We'll talk about that in a second. But he also has the ultimate that's going to do supreme damage. <laughs> so Vegeta's a character that's going to be in a really interesting scenario. So again, he got all those buffs, right? He has numerous buffs. He gets this buff repeatedly throughout the match. He automatically starts off with 90. Another buff that's activated here is as follows. So the following effects occur when the enemy switches character while this character is on the battlefield. Randomly draws one new card when you have three or fewer. And also plus 20% damage inflicted for 15 counts so that's going to automatically proc because he's forced to switch characters when the trunks is defeated i'm actually slow down the playback speed so you can kind of see this a little bit better so when trunks is defeated we'll turn that off <laughs> he's going to instantly pick up a damage inflicted buff when gohan subs in any second now literally any second now there he is oh whoops Right here, inflicted damage is popping up above Vegeta when Gohan is forced in. And now you see there's five icons for damage inflicted buffs. So this is one of the things that's interesting of Vegeta's kit. And part of the reason why they didn't give him natural draw speed. Some people are thinking that Kaba might give him that. And I'm really hoping he doesn't on his Zenkai. <laughs> but hey, man, if he does, whatever. Um, so the thing with Vegeta is that if he's able to maintain a combo and KO a character, or even if he doesn't KO the character, if he puts the opponent in a position where they're pressured down and feel like they need to sub out, he is going to pick up the extra um, damage inflicted buff. And not only that, it doesn't apply here because he's not gonna use it, but he did just pick up another card because he's most likely below three or less. And then he's gonna be popping, if he uses that card, again, another 25 damage buff and then restore key. Now, again, this is why I said he'll run out of cards before he runs out of key he'll pick up one more card there and maybe it's a green i guess he can draw another card off that like vegeta's interesting <laughs> all this buff stuff just starts stacking and stacking and stacking so moving on outside of that uh the the gohan player for the record the gohan player could have just tapped vegeta tap punched him and that would have been the end of it this is why i said i i don't think this was meant to be taken seriously so gohan enters in as last man he was at a previous threshold of having taken some damage but he enters in as last man he restores to max hp they do pop the main uh there's not much reason to pop in gohan's main otherwise but he's fine uh there's no debuffs or anything like that on gohan nothing nothing is hindering gohan he's at 2.5 million hp uh we can i guess double check but i'm not going to that's a, that's a high enough hp threshold i assume there's no hp character on the bench but 2.5 million HP rounded up for Gohan. Uh, every buff you, you would want for him overall, right? So what happens here is we're going to go ahead and just play this. I'm going to turn up the playback speed. This is really interesting as well, right? Vegeta uses that. So as you see, Vegeta used the, may, uh, the blue card, right? So one thing that happens with the blue card for Vegeta is it nullifies unfavorable elements. What that means is this Gohan, this arrow above Gohan, right? This is element factor means Gohan has type advantage. Now that goes away from the from the goat from the Vegeta's perspective. His arrow is pointing down, obviously, uh, if you're the Vegeta player. But that goes away the second this activates. Why? Because that means Vegeta went neutral. Vegeta going neutral here means that this blue card will do the same damage. Like if if he was like a green character, not a blue character or a yellow character, but the other char uh, other character colors, right? Uh, not not dark as well. Even though we don't have a playable dark character, you get the point. Uh, he was any other color other than yellow or blue, which would have had type advantage where the arrow would have been pointing up for Vegeta to do bonus damage. He's doing neutral damage here. So that's pretty standard. Uh, it's gonna be very good for him. The blue card gives him that. Now, the interesting, uh, interesting thing about the blue card is that the blue card is as follows. It gives him, uh, here it is, gives him nullify own unfavorable element factors for three counts. For three counts on activation. So for on activation is huge because it doesn't say on hit. This means that he can miss and he'll still get the buff, which is what happens here, right? But that's not all. This is for three counts. There's a huge, huge asterisk here because this is very important to what happens next, right? Very important to what happened next. He follows up into the ultimate, right? Which 
is going to still be type neutral. There's an arrow popping that or showing that here for Vegeta the icon. And then there's also no arrow pointing down on Gohan. Vegeta has numerous buffs that popped off previously. Like I said earlier, Gohan only has 2.4 million HP. It's not like he's over 4 million or something. Like, you know, that's it's not like he's going to have an insane amount. He's not on a cover. Gohan doesn't really have damage cut unless he's on a cover change. I don't believe he has any other damage cut. So that's another thing to consider here. Like if this was... I don't want to say SS4 Gogeta, but if there was somebody that had more defensive capability, even if they're not on a cover cut, uh, he would have been fine overall, right? So that's one thing to, to consider for Gohan. But last but not least, Vegeta has one more line of text in his kit that is very relevant here. So on his main ability, which happens before he even uses the blue card for the record, he uses the main like way back here somewhere. Uh, no, he had, he didn't, did he use the main? Where's the main at? That's a green card, actually, right? He used the green card. That's another buff he got. He used a freaking green card. I totally missed that. Too busy breaking it down. Yeah, that's another buff for the record. The green card gives him another buff. But, okay, let me explain that really quick. Let me play this on normal speed to make sure I'm not crazy. One more time. Yeah, green card, damage buff, another damage buff. Yeah, and then there's the main. Okay, so the main, like I was saying, Gives him 20% damage to blue cards, uh, basically, in his kit. So, another 20% damage for his blue cards right there. His green, his green gave him uh, plus 25% damage here. He was also below the HP or the key threshold. So, he picked up another buff on top of that. That green gave him 50% damage because he was below the threshold. And he got the key back. He activated this when he used the green. <laughs> so, let me just kind of break this down. He started off with a bunch of damage buffs already. He defeated Trunks. He picked up one uh, for using an arts card. The second Trunks is defeated, right? And he uh, gets the buff here when Gohan subs in. All of a sudden, he has six buffs right here at the time of activating a green card. He's going to pick up another one when the green card is completed because he's now below the threshold. He activates the main ability, which is another damage buff. <laughs> he uses the, the blue card, which allows him to go neutral right there. And then immediately follows up into the ultimate right again he could have been tap punched and that would have canceled it but <laughs> there's another damage buff here because he's below the hp he's below the, the key threshold again another damage buff is popping off so <laughs> it's really not hard to understand why this happened because gohan's not defensive he doesn't have that much key really i forgot i didn't even recognize the green card it, it makes perfect sense the green card gave him freaking 50 percent damage like seriously <laughs> this is no joke so all in all vegeta is interesting he has such a high damage cap uh if you really start popping off and stuff so that's pretty much it everybody hope you all enjoyed again remember check out the original content down below uh and also support that channel and on top of that though if you and if you enjoyed the content you want to see more please be sure to support this channel um and i'm gonna definitely uh, this was definitely pretty fun man if you guys want to see it i'll do it so thank you all and i'll see all of you in the next one